Dear students, in this video, we'll solve examples of practice set 5.2 from the chapter Quadrilaterals. First example, in the given figure, quadrilateral A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. P and Q are the midpoints, P and Q are the midpoint of side AB and side DC respectively. We have to prove that quadrilateral A, P, C, Q is a parallelogram. Now, it is given that quadrilateral A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Therefore, Opposite sides of the parallelogram are parallel. So AB is parallel to CD. Opposite sides are parallel by definition of parallelogram. Opposite sides are parallel. Therefore, as AP is parallel to CD, therefore AP is also parallel to CQ. Therefore, AP is parallel to CQ. A dash, P dash, B and D dash, Q dash, C. Now, this is number one. AP is parallel to CQ. Now, P and Q are midpoint. P and Q are midpoints of side AB and DC. AB is equal to DC. AB and DC are equal. Sides of parallelogram are congruent. Sides of parallelogram are equal. Since P and Q are midpoint, therefore here multiply both sides by 1 upon 2 is equal to 1 upon 2 DC. Multiply both sides by 1. Now P and Q are the midpoints of AB and DC, therefore, AP is equal to 1 upon 2 AB and CQ is equal to 1 upon 2 DC. Since P and Q are the midpoints of AB and DC, therefore, here 1 upon 1 half AB and one half DC is equal to API, therefore AP is equal to CQ, number second. So now, now in quadrilateral, in quadrilateral AP, CQ from one and two, we get from one, AP is parallel to CQ and AP is also equal to CQ from 1 and 2. So here we get opposite sides are parallel of a quadrilateral and opposite sides are equal. Therefore, here opposite sides, opposite sides of quadrilateral, Opposite sides of quadrilateral A, P, C, Q are parallel and equal, are parallel and equal. Therefore, therefore, quadrilateral A, P, C, Q is a parallel graph.
second example using opposite angle test for parallelogram you have to prove that every rectangle is a parallelogram so let us consider given thing quadrilateral abcd is a rectangle to prove quadrilateral abcd is a parallelogram so here it is given that quadrilateral abcd is a rectangle so we know the property of rectangle each angle of rectangle is by property of rectangle each angle of rectangle is right angle therefore here in this quadrilateral abcd a rectangle each angle angle a is equal to angle b is equal to angle c is equal to angle d is equal to 90 degree therefore angle a is equal to angle c and angle b is 90 is equal to angle d therefore opposite opposite angles are equal so when opposite angles are equal so by the test of parallelogram therefore therefore quadrilateral abcd is a parallelogram fourth example prove that quadrilateral formed by intersection of angle bisectors of all angles of parallelogram is a rectangle so here we we'll consider a parallelogram a b c d is a parallelogram these are the angle bisectors of the parallelogram a b c d you have to prove that quadrilateral p q r s is a rectangle so, as it is given that quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram, therefore angle ACD plus angle ACD plus angle BCD, these two angles are an adjacent angles of parallelogram is equal to 180 degree, adjacent angles of parallelogram are supplementary, angle ACD plus angle BCD is equal to 180 degree. Now multiply both sides of this equation by 1 upon 2. So multiply this equation throughout by 1 upon 2. 1 half ACD plus 1 upon 2, 1 half BCD is equal to 1 upon 2 into 180 degree. Equation number 1. Then but angle PCD, angle PDC is 1 half, angle ADC and angle PCD is 1 half angle B C D since ray D P and ray C P are the angle bisectors angle bisector divide the angle in two equal parts that is half of the given angle so number two and number three therefore this is one half angle one half A C D is equal to angle P C D and one half B C D is equal to angle P C D therefore and here 2 1s are 2 9s are 18 is equal to 90 from 1 2 and 3 we get angle PCD plus angle angle PDC plus angle PCD is equal to 90 degree now in triangle now this angle PC angle PCD angle and PCD and PDC are 90 is equal to service 90 degree. Now we know that in triangle PCD, in triangle PDC, the sum of the majors of angles of the triangle is 180 degree. So this angle plus this angle plus this angle is equal to 180 degree. So angle PDC, angle PDC plus angle PCD plus angle DP. C is equal to 180, sum of the majors of angles of the triangle. So, here 
from 4 we get that angle PC, PDC plus angle PCD is equal to 180 or 90 degree that, that is from 4 we get this part is 90 therefore angle DPC 90 plus DPC is equal to 180 degree therefore angle DPC is equal to 180 minus 90 therefore angle DPC is equal to 90 degree so angle DPC is 90 degree that is this angle is DPC is equal to CP Q here between this D dash S dash P and P dash Q dash C so here between this is there so this angle S P Q is equal to 90 so one angle of this quadrilateral we have proved that it is a 90 degree now similarly we can prove that angle S R Q angle S R Q is also 90 degree similarly in same way manner we can, prove, we can prove that this angle is 90 degree. Also, we can prove that angle ASD, angle ASD is also angle ASD and angle BQC. Angle ASD and angle BQC in the same manner. Similarly, we can prove it is 90 degree. And Therefore, this is 90, this is 90, this is 90, so vertically opposite angles are common and SPR is also 90 and PR, PQR is also 90. Since vertically opposite angles are common, SPR is 90. Similarly, we can prove that PQR is also 90 degree. So, in quadrilateral PQR is from statement number 5, 6, and 8 and 9, we get that these all angles in the quadrilateral PQRS are 90 degree. So, all this SPQ is equal to SRQ is equal to SR, PSR is equal to PQR is equal to 90 degree. So, each angle is right angle. Therefore, by definition of rectangle, quadrilateral PQRS is a rectangle.